the driveway is wet this morning, but you can see it's not wet under the carport and um, I'd be surprised if we had more than a trace. Yeah, it's that's pretty funny. It didn't even. <laughs> okay, so it's wet the ground, but uh, no, yeah, like one, one, one drop came out. <laughs> So not very helpful for watering plants at this point. But we are expecting, they're saying, we could have some thunderstorms today. So we'll see. It's 70 out here. The air conditioner is running. It's supposed to get up into the 80s. It's not, it's not oppressive out here, but it's not what I would call cool and refreshing either. Kitties all seem to be accounted for. Marty actually is in the house. So I'll have to go round him up. Stripe ran out when I opened the door, but not, not Marty. He's probably at the front door. <sighs> I think we decided we're going to um, walk up to South Park and see if they're paving and if the track's closed. And we can always walk around the building instead of walking around the track. Since it's not a real pretty super great weather day don't go anywhere i want to go but um yeah that's probably what we're gonna do i don't imagine the turtles that go inside their shell are too much fun for the cats to chase in other words i'm not too worried about him but hi bud i'm gonna leave you a gut alone to go wherever it is you're headed hi hi hello Hello. Good morning, Panther. Hi. Here you go, Sweepy. We'll have chicken later, okay? Hi. Good morning. I brought you some canned food, but I have a feeling you're going to protest until I debone the chicken. But you're welcome to eat some of that if you would consider it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Good morning, sweetheart. Every once in a while, we just don't want to get out of the car. <laughs> the air conditioner feels good. The sitting feels good. The yeah. no, no stress here. <laughs> we are, though. We are. But that's our neighbor. That's like right in front of where Jules is here at the environmental park going down the hill. And since they've hauled in all that dirt and redone the roof and maybe added on, we were like, you know what? Well, Don was. Let's take a look now, take a picture, and come back in, you know, maybe six months and yeah. look again. Yeah. And it gave us a reason to sit here yeah. for a we minute. got to sit here in the air conditioning just a little while. Longer. Well, it's 74, but the humidity's up a bit. Oh, it's yeah. sprinkling, but it really is. It's sticky out there. I swore to Dawn we're not going to get poured on. It's almost nothing out there. It was just little, like a cloud went over top, and it, it spit five times, and now it's good. Yeah. Okay, mm. we'll go. Yeah. yeah, we had thought about going someplace else today, and then Don said, let's just walk up there and see what they're doing, and we can walk around the building or walk the trail twice, or we have options. And I said, okay. We're not hearing any paving work up at the track, but I guess time will tell when we get up there if they're doing, if they're here doing anything. We've really not had enough rain to cancel work and my opinion not that they asked me there's uh no significant rain in the state it's just this little bit of drip if we're gonna have a real thunderstorm it's gonna really have to build and pop up like florida <laughs> not uh it's not a frontal system so let's see what time is it it's Oh, it's 1024. We weren't out here super late, but I was moving a little slow this morning. Headache and just not feeling 100%. And, um, but anyway, it opens at 10 and there's no lightning, so they're out there having fun. Now, I don't see any sign of anything going on. I assume they would block this little entrance here with some yellow tape or something between the sign and the trash can, maybe. If it was... Uh, really closed that noise i'm hearing is the air conditioner for the bathroom and the little snack bar area so obviously if they were out here working we'd stay off of it but there's nobody here so why 
some sort of tree grinding on the other side of this house. We didn't see it walking through the first time, but we've heard it now around the track to check it out. Can we see him? I mean, it just sort of sounds like it's right there. I guess it's in that neighborhood. And I can't see anything, but I think a mach -E through the woods over there. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, so I just now, you won't be able to see it, but there is a yellow piece of equipment there in the front yard. Not the green closer house, but across the street, the neighborhood street from them, that's where the tree's being worked on. Yeah. You see the, binder. yeah, you see the yellow? Yeah, I see yeah. the yellow. See the pretty um, trumpet vine, too. I think it's a stump grinder. Okay. Well, I was right. They were grinding wood, whether it's branches or stumps. It sounded like wood being ground. They had to bring in special equipment with a lift arm to get that refrigerator loaded up. Here comes the sun. I had to put my hat back on. Yeah. We were hoping we'd be off the trail before the sun burnt through those clouds up there. And I would say since we're expecting thunderstorms today, the more sun, the earlier, the better the chance of the thunderstorms. That's usually the way it works. Well, the current weather says thunderstorms possible after 4 p.m. But the main threat of anything concerning is down east, the other side of 95. So, we don't want any wind today with that tree that's not taken down yet. Hi, bud. How are you? You good? Stripe wants to come in, but Tux is gating him. I'm sorry, buddy. I might would go pick him up and bring him through the door, but I want to work on my Legos here at the counter, and that doesn't usually go over too well with him. Yeah, I think yesterday I said this was a spaceship, and it's a comet. Makes total sense now. Although, you know, I'm used to, like, thinking about Battlestar Galactica, and you've got or the Star Destroyer, you've, you know, you've got uh, Star Wars, you've got all these big ships and little ships beside it. So I don't think Spaceship is too far off. But this postcard, this plaque is common. And then this one shows uh, space vehicles, a rover roaming the planet surface. These are like the modular houses. You don't have to put them together with pins, but like the modular houses have holes on this side, these two too, and they're on both sides. So you can put them in a different order than they show them on the box. Um, yeah, um, I'm loving this set. I mean, the colors are just so cool. I had a couple of comments on the instructions, but I already filled out the questionnaire, so. Yeah, um, on this one, there was a technique one by one with a hole and a red um, pin. The one you would use to hold something on versus connect something. And um, they were, they had you install it from the back side and they said to put it up here. And of course, it's for this planetoid moon thing. But I think I would have stuck this on, flipped it around, and then shown the picture so you could see the red stud. Um, I was prepared to pull it back off if I'd placed it wrong, but, um, and this is a set as designed for adults that can handle backing up if they've misplaced a piece. It's not, I don't know what the, I mean, there's no reason why younger kids couldn't do this. It says 18 plus. I mean, maybe the appeal is for 18 plus, but I don't see any reason why an eight or a 10 year old can't put this set together. It's pretty simple. Minus those, <laughs> those were annoying. Um, but anyway, um, just, you know, probably slight little feedback for Lego there. I am gonna connect these two and um, I'll build another one tomorrow.
four, um, it's actually over the windows. I need four one by four dark turquoise and I can't find it anywhere in my stash. I am not happy. So in my quest to find one by four dark turquoise um, pieces, I ended up bringing down several bags that were these big bulky pieces, but I hadn't been through them yet. And this is Heart Lake Hospital and it's huge and it really appears to mostly be here. And it has a lot of hospital stuff in it and you know, I was thinking vet stuff in my building. So anyway, I've stopped to build it. Um, see how far I get. It's it's not complete, but it's it's pretty darn here. It's got some cool stuff in it. What a set. Well, I am done putting the hospital back together. And it is 99%. I'm missing three uh, magenta inverted 1x2 slopes. That's a very special color for that and um, what else am I missing well two of the original minifigures but I've added there were three total and my building has seven now so I think that's okay and uh, god could that be all that's missing oh there's two carts this cart and this cart very easy for me to make if I wanted to um, probably not right now though I'm really psyched about it. I have to look up what year this was. Has the ambulance and the little bicycle and the hel helo pad. When you take the helicopter up, it's got the H. Very cool set. Super cool. There's this cute camper trailer and this hot dog amusement park um, van um, that was also in that bag. I didn't do anything to this. I didn't do too much to this either. stopped working on Legos. You did? Yeah, I think what? I went from 11.30 to 6.30. I had a nap. I know. You can take Johnny get some stuff for his robot Depot. stuff. Home yeah. Guy trip to Home Depot. Yeah, Home Depot. I'm only a little jealous that I'm home cooking while you guys are going to Home Depot. You be sure you cook it up right now. Okay, I'm trying out a new to me Instant Pot right. Vortex okay. 6 Quart Air yeah. Fryer. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm late, but I'm working on it. Just saying, you are not Lego certified. <laughs> you're cute. Yeah, I took all the parts away so you couldn't, you're not in that much trouble. I keep you out of trouble. Yes, a good boy. <laughs> so Johnny and I came to Home Depot, total bus for what we were looking for screws for his robot uh, we're gonna just get them from Amazon but we did check out the Ro Ryobi 80 volt brushless electrical uh, mower right on that'd be sweet that might be a good way to get me to cut the grass again well we came to our little local RC hobby shop in Fuquay and he had um, one of the sets of screws for the motor but we got a still order some from Amazon. Those puppies are browned up. I'm probably the only person to ever dunk them in butter and then put them in the air fryer. <laughs> well, if it doesn't take Dawn an hour to clean it, we like it. Yeah. Yeah, I liked it. I wasn't pan frying them in the cast iron skillet. I wasn't getting spattered with grease and it was better for me. Yeah. Yeah. I did the uh, first round, then the second round, then the first round flipped, then the second round flipped. And that way they all stayed hot enough we could eat them all together yeah. at the same time. Look at that watermelon for Mr. Balls, baby. 